Hi, this is Christine from GeckoGullyWebsites.com. For those of you who are using the Table Rates shipping plugin for WooCommerce, um, I've had a couple of people who have requested a quick tutorial on how to actually update your rates, just a refresher. If you're wanting a full tutorial on how to set this all up, this is not the right video and you should find another video within my YouTube channel on how to set it all up. This is just meant to be a quick refresher for those of you who have to update their shipping rates, their posted rates, since Australia Post raised the rates a few days ago. Now, this is one of my client's sites and she has a fairly simple setup in that she has two zones, either Australia or default. So we And we get to this by going to WooCommerce and then shipping zones within WooCommerce. So if we go to the Australian one and we click on Configure Shipping Methods. Now remember, I'm assuming that you're not actually going to be adding new rates you click on here for edit for shipping by weight you're not actually going to be um, changing the way you're calculating the shipping you're just going to be changing the amounts you charge okay um, so here you may have a handling fee in here that you might want to adjust in this case this lady doesn't have a handling fee so we don't need to change that but the main area that you would probably want to change is further down here so what this basically says is that for a weight of between 0.01 kilograms and 0.05 kilograms, she has a, a postage rate of $1.50. So this is where she would change this. So she wants to change that to $1.60, for example. She would change that to 1.6. You can put the zero on on the end if you want to. And then when she's changed all these that she wants to change, she goes down to the bottom. Where is it? Sorry, where, where do we change? Where do we edit this? Yeah, right down the bottom, and we click on Save Shipping Method down the bottom here. That should be in blue, because it's a bit hard to see for us old ladies. So anyway, so what you do is basically you'll go down here and you'll change your different rates that you're charging. If you want to you can add a new shipping rate but that's outside the scope of this particular tutorial. So let's go back up here. When you have changed your Australian ones you might also want to change the rates for outside Australia. So we'll go to here, we'll go to configure shipping methods for the default zone which is everywhere else. So this is what our customers who are outside Australia will be looking at. We go to edit And again, if we want to, we can put in a handling fee or adjust the handling fee. And here we can change the row cost. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I hope this helps. Bye.